If you're taking a statin, are you at risk of a hidden side effect doctors aren't talking about? Dr. Nick Norowitz uncovered a paper from 2024 that clearly demonstrates a significant decrease in GLP-1 levels for those taking statins. That's the same hormone targeted to increase by popular drugs like Wagovi, Ozempic, and Manjaro. And that decrease seemed to cause the dangerous onset of insulin resistance. The risk of GLP-1 is something crucial that you probably haven't been told about. Actually, I'm fairly certain you haven't been told about it. We've known for years that statins can increase the risk of insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes, with the risk being highest in those who have prediabetes or other risk factors for diabetes. They studied both mice and humans and concluded that the insulin resistance comes from the reduction in GLP-1 levels. And they went even further, determining the cause of the GLP-1 reduction is likely due to a decrease in Clostridium species in the microbiome and the subsequent reduction in ursodeoxycholic acid or UDCA. The big question is, does it matter that GLP-1 levels went down? And based on their research, it seems the drop in GLP-1 directly related to the onset of insulin resistance. The key is, are you metabolically healthy or showing signs of insulin insulin resistance. So GLP-1 levels may be the instigator, but it's the end result we can measure and try to correct. And while no doctor will admit to this, there is sort of like this air of here's your statin, now you're protected and little else matters. Go about your way. Instead, it should be here's your statin, but now let's plan on how to optimize and maintain your metabolic health. That is the key. So sleep, managing stress, exercise, nutrition, all play vital roles and cannot be ignored.